Hey guys, Sir Miguel here and welcome to our newest countdown video, Top 5 Brimhaven Facts. Today we will take a closer look at the location filled with pirates and thieves and see what interesting facts it has. It can be quite hard to find enough interesting facts for different locations, but I think I found some pretty interesting ones for this video. So let's just begin. Number 5. Old Armory Models There are at least 3 NPCs in Brimhaven that use the old armor and weapon models. These are Grip, who wears old versions of a steel full helm, iron chain body and steel battle axe. Then there's Gary, who wears old versions of a black helm, iron chain body and black hatchet. And the last one is Trobert, who wields an old version of a steel longsword. Perhaps Jackass hasn't gotten around to updating these yet, but I actually like the fact that they were the retro style versions of the models, because these were my favorites. Number 4. Wrong Cape After the release of the skill cape rework, Captain Izzy was seen wearing a trim slayer cape at the end of the final cutscene in Rocking Out. This was pretty inconsistent with the fact that he normally wears an untrimmed agility cape. Uh, this was fixed in the patch update on 7th of April 2015. I wasn't able to find an image on this despite trying for a long while. It is a true fact though, as shown in the patch notes of April 7, 2015. Number 3. Fireburglar's Tree When talking to Sanibaj who stands outside the Brimhaven dungeon, it is possible to ask him about the tree that is growing on the entrance. The tree is apparently called Fireburglar's Tree, if that's even how I pronounce it, I don't even know, and it's literally the only known tree of this sort in Gilinor. Fireburglar's trees are noted for their ability to grow virtually anywhere. However, this is apparently the only place in Gilinor that you can find one. The name Fireburglas is very similar to fiberglass, which many fake props can be made from. So who knows, maybe it's a fake tree. I sure as hell don't know. Number 2. Brimhaven Dungeon Entrance Fee Every time you attempt to enter the Brimhaven Dungeon, Sanibaj will ask you to pay 875 coins. And there's actually a reason behind this. The wise old man actually traveled to Karamja and ventured down into Brimhaven Dungeon, which few people at the time dared to enter. Afterwards, he advised the locals to charge any adventurer who wished to enter the dungeon, which is why you have to pay for entrance. And number 1. Brimhaven Agility Arena References The Brimhaven Agility Arena is filled with different references, and I found three of them. When you dodge the darts and the darts obstacle, a cutscene appears where you dodge the dart in slow motion, which is obviously a reference to the famous bullet dodge scene in the Matrix. Another reference is the examined text on the monkey bars, which says, Now I'm the king of the swingers, oh, the jungle VIP, which is a reference to the Disney film, The Jungle Book. The last reference I could find is when you examine one set of pillars, they'll say, It's a small step for a player, a giant leap for player kind. Which is of course a reference to Neil Armstrong's words as the first man on the moon, where he said, That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. So that was 5 facts about Brimhaven. I hope you had a good time watching this video and I hope you learned at least a few new ones. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like and a comment and I'll see you all in the next video.